Ah, good morning. John Augustine back again. Uh, this is the year 2005. I've mentioned some of the items attached to it. Uh, so, um, on the 6th of January 2005, the Irish Farmers Association, the OFA for short, celebrated its 50th anniversary. So, so like 50 from 2005. You're left with 1995. What now? 50 from 2005. We from 10. Uh, 1955, I think. Mm. They're a good point on the go. And they often were up uh, objecting to this, that, and the other up with the Department of Agriculture. Uh, Yep. Then on the 8th of January 2005, there were a hearing the Irish Foreign Minister visited the area in North East Asia after the, the, the Sunni, this big wave that came in and killed a terrible amount of people. Uh, it must have been an earthquake in the, in, the, in the sea, and a big wave rose up. Oh, nature. That was a thing that happened. Yeah, in 2005. Wasn't that a queer thing? And then I didn't I just pass by this. On the 4th of January 2005, really just in the new year, of 2005, a little little boy, 11 years of age, Robert Hulan, on his Christmas holidays. He would have been probably in sixth class, ready to go into secondary school. Went missing. And it was a big search. His poor body was discovered eight days later. It doesn't say what happened or how, how he lost his life. He was from East Cork, Robert Hulan. Funny enough, yeah, Robert Hulan. No, Lord of mercy, may he rest in peace and the light of heaven shine upon him, amen. And for his family, does have he, at that time, he, the peace that pass it on, understanding to deal with such a tragedy. Um, yeah, I mentioned then uh, DFA and Emma the Hearn. Yeah, off he went to um, Asia. Must have been a tough sight to see all the arm down there. Uh, and then on the 18th of January, the Taoiseach Bertie Ahern stroke Prime Minister. Where was he at? He visited China on a trade mission. And he was accompanied by a tour of the cabinet. Mihal Martin was on tow, whatever he was up to. Mary Hannafin. I forget what minister she was of. I know Mary Cotton was minister for agriculture and that was not so good. And Noel Dempsey was there. He's from Mead. And uh, he was the um, Department of Transport. <coughs> the Transport Minister. Minister for Transport. Uh, maybe it's called something else. He was in charge of the railways. He opened, uh, uh, got all the facilities for. Uh, this has happened when the Vina Gale crowd and the Labour, not at all. <laughs> they have lip service about the people, but <laughs> they do look after them. Look at all the big transporters up there. Put a bit down this way, Mr. Crowd and the government. Don't neglect carbon in that area. Have a train go up there the same as you have <coughs> going other places. <coughs> Plenty of commuter trains down to down the country, down to Arklow or <coughs> and the Scotia or Wexford. The same up to 
Dundalk and Belfast and the same to Galway. What are you? What, what's wrong with up, up towards Cavan? I know you opened a motorway, the only one as far as I know in the country, there is two toll roads between between uh, um, Virginia and uh, Dublin on the M3. You can go another toll roads and you don't come across a thing and toll for a fellow a long time, if, I, if at all. So, um, we, why don't they put a train to, to Narbon? The Christian TV order, when it gets going, will we'll be on to that very much so, because um, I live in County Mead, uh, Old Castle. And quite frankly, the bus service here is very, very poor as well. If you get up a cock crow to go on a bus that leaves about quarter days, mostly for ch school children, then the next one that leaves here that goes and only goes as far as Kells. And that leaves and it goes round the world for sport. Towards Bally Gem stuff and nobody seems to get on it. And um and it goes to Kells and then you have to wait for a bus then from in Kells to, to go to wherever else you're going. And so we we uh, we think we're neglected. And the Christian TV will make sure that That'll be brought to the fore also of people that are neglected, considering there were trains going into every town and village before they were closed down by Todd, Dr. Todd Andrews. He wasn't a medical doctor, but uh, obviously had some other education. Yeah, he closed by him in, this, in the 60s. Terrible stupid thing to do. Could have kept some of them open, for goodness sake. What a gift it would be now, huh? Of course, trams and every blinking thing. Tram and Hoke was a great tourist attraction. Uh, nothing upstairs. Yeah. Just uh, ruthless. People objected to it because they were connected. Mm, but it went ahead. Loaded now. A lot of places don't have a proper bus service or any of these uh, things that they should have. Especially up in Cavan. From, from Dublin. There should be a train from that. Like the woods, the same as from other places. Get on with it there, there were that huge ones in, in, in government. Don't be neglect this part. Nobody should vote for you in the thick. Uh, and now it's up the creek without a paddle. I never saw so much road works in all my life and putting in bigger uh, slabs of concrete, or not slabs of concrete, squares, or and small little. Um, Months down, bricks, they're in bigger bricks, <laughs> flower beds everywhere. They want to be fleas of gardeners to look at them. I see some in other parts of weeds, grass grown up, you could graze a cow on some of them. <laughs> so, uh, it's the green parties, I believe they're going to plant trees in the whole castle. Do away with park and so we'd have to get a stormy bicycle. <laughs> this is what we're up against. And I said something about St. Faustina there, but the bicycle nearly. Uh, but um, at the Green Party with their trees and white footpaths and, and trying to interfere in the cost of petrol guns going high and home heat knowing as well, which it. Uh, Disappear somewhere and stop all these increases. Have a decrease, for goodness sake. Bye now. Have a good day.